<sighs> Have you actually just woken up? <sighs> yeah. What's the issue, man? Well, nothing. I just never understood how you could sleep until lunchtime. Lunchtime? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Furlow Life has got my body clock battered, bruv. Fair play for keeping a routine in lockdown, man. Fair play. I mean, listen, I've always worked my own hours, so nothing's really changed. Yeah, cool story. Uh, is this why you woke me up? No, it isn't. I actually have a surprise for you. Oh, let's go. I joined a dating app. No way. <laughs> hey, this is huge, bro. Listen, I was all alone in my <laughs> flat with... <laughs> <laughs> I was all alone in the flat with nothing else to do and I just thought, why not? You know what? I'm hearing that digital dating is popping off during lockdown, you know? Have you got any video dates yet? No, I literally just joined. Okay, hey, Vin, hey, Vin, seriously, yeah? No joke. Your profile needs to be on point, yeah? And then when you're looking at these girls' profiles, <laughs> there's a few things you need to watch out for. You need to look at the angles that they're using to take the pictures and that. Yeah? Because they're, they're going to deceive you. Callum, I have I have talked to girls before. I do understand what I, I have talked to girls before. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I just got a notification. Uh, no way. It looks like I got beginner's luck. Oh, you sexy bastard, bruv. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've got some matches. All right, man. Let me know how it goes, bro. Peace. All right, cool, man. Bye-bye. Oh, this guy's looking peng, bruv. Tasty. I've got three video dates scheduled back to back. Okay, show off. No, 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 not really. I've, I've never been on a digital date before. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just treat it like a real life date, I guess, you know? People seem to be really enjoying them as well. Okay, and is this a good setup? I've got this right. Uh, you know what? I don't think you should have the bed in the back like that, man. Sends out the wrong message. Okay, I'm definitely moving into the nearer room. Okay. Oh, trying to look like a slut. Ugh. Ugh, oh, Vinny. What's my intention? Vinny, we've spoken about this. It's, it's, it's just wrong, man. It's wrong. <laughs> Now, you want to find a spot where the natural light is hitting your face, kind of like it's hitting mine and making me look so goddamn beautiful. And also, what you want is eye level. Set the camera to eye level, bro. Not low angle or high angle. They are not flattering. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Uh, let's get that fireplace yeah. looking nice in the back. Okay, maybe we have a couple more things. I really am so happy. Oh yeah, okay, I've got like a trophy from when I was a kid. Ah, yeah, show her that you're a winner. Yeah, and culture, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we're I think we're ready. Oh! Should I drink? It is your call entirely, mate. Oh, the worst thing though is if you're drinking and the other person isn't. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um I need some beers. Get some beers! Go on then. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, wish me luck, yeah? I hope it goes terribly. Honestly, you are the bestest friend I've ever had. No, nah, I'm joking. Listen, listen. You are going to smash this date, yeah? And you jump on all confident like, and you say her first name straight away. Straight away, straight in, smiling. Show them all your teeth. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Show no. them all the teeth. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. Okay. All right, cool. Listen, I'll uh, I'll debrief you after. I'll let you know how it goes. Peace, boy. All right, peace. I'm gonna click on this. Okay, bye. Cool. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I needed to pee. <laughs> Hi. No, I'm gonna get that. I can't argue with that. Then that's fine. That's, that's what you need to do. Okay. Cheers. How are you, Mini? I'm. I'm good, thank you very much. I. I think I can slightly detect an accent. Am I correct? You're it's very observant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you think I'm from? I've heard, I've actually heard a few footballers interviewed that sound a little bit like you. Um, yeah, footballers from my country are very good. Some of the best in the world, I would say, personally. <laughs> okay, this is so embarrassing if I get this wrong, but Hungarian? Hungarian? Do they play football no. in Hungary? No. Yeah, they're so good at Hungary. No, I'm hungry all the time, but I'm not from Hungary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky, but that's very incorrect. Shit. Okay, go on then, tell me. I'm Spanish. Damn it! <laughs> Spain! Yeah. Okay, I do love your footballers, to be fair. Oh, come on with the football already. It's the only thing you understand about my country, no? No, no, no. Okay, okay. I have a, one more thing that I know. I know that the capital is... Madrid? Yes, the capital of Spain yes. is Madrid. Well done. You want a prize for okay, it? Okay, so you're not impressed you by that prize. bit of trivia, no? No, not quite, no. So, um, how's lockdown been treating you? I know their lockdown question is so boring. Okay, no, no, we, we, we don't have to talk about it if you... If I'm you kidding. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I've been keeping really busy. I'm a language teaching assistant, so... Oh, wow, nice. Uh, what languages? Spanish, obviously. Yes, Spanish, and then Italian and French as well. So I've been doing online classes with my students and then some private tuition too. So it's my side hustle. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Mm. The good thing about languages is no matter how hungover you are, you never forget them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's fair. And I, I noticed that um, there was some other interest in your profile. Yeah, which ones in particular? Um, okay, they all grab my attention immediately. But if I had to pick one thing about the amazing things about you, I would pick. Sure, right. yes. I That's get exactly it, I what get I it. meant. That was underneath. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Look, what kind of parties are you into? Partying, right? I saw That's that. the I one saw you that. like. Okay. <laughs> um, well, uh, everything really. I have a lot of energy, so I go to like raves, I go to house parties, I go to festivals. Every weekend there's something, you know. Sundays for me are a struggle. <laughs> so wait, sorry, sorry. Every single weekend you're... Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, okay, you go hard. Yeah, I, after a night out, I get in at like 7 a.m. It's, it's, it's fun. It's like once I stayed up for two days straight and I was teaching the next day and I was supposed to be teaching Spanish but I kept speaking French it was oh your poor students they're probably out there speaking some weird hybrid language hybrid language what is this what hy hybrid hybrid language oh okay sorry um no it's, so so like a, a mixture so that I meant that your students will be out there speaking four oh. different, five different languages in one, is what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whoops, I mean. <laughs> no, you know, whatever. I mean, partying can be a problem for some, I mean, it was a problem for the last guy I dated. Oh, really? But I don't know, like, well, what do you think about, like, letting your girl have fun? In terms of, okay, what, so in terms of, like, just letting your partner go out and do their thing? Yeah, like, it's important, I think. I'm just wondering. I, I, okay, personally, I don't see why they'd want to go out and be wild without me. I don't know, if it's a regular thing, it just leads to anxiety in a relationship, right? Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's what the last guy said to me, so. Because I just thought that you can both just, uh, you know, it's not about being. Yeah, you can go out together. You should go out together, definitely. But I think if she's like, it's Tuesday and it's girls' night, like whatever, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. 
I get a bit aggressive when I'm passionate about something. Passionate. What? It's passionate. You said passionate. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mierda. Sorry, it's, it's the wine. <laughs> You can always correct me when my English is bad, please. No, 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 listen, I promise you it's perfect. It's better than mine. Okay, well, it's definitely not, is it? But I have a question for you, Vinny. Okay, go on. I'm all is. Would you call yourself introverted or extroverted? Oh, God. I said that right, yeah? Oh, okay. This, this, this is a big question now. You have a thing, I'll have a drink. Oh. I'd have to say that it's probably a mix i think i'm i'm happy being around people and then i'm also happy being on my own so i don't know i have to be able to do both in that's my good yeah. i think that's really good yeah i need to mix it up more i'm always the crazy one with my friends are you <laughs> yeah oh my gosh what's some craziness that's happened with like friends like what's a... oh you don't want to oh, know yeah, okay stay we'll say those two or three sure we'll say those stories two. for another time yeah You'll find out. Okay, okay. You'll find out. Sorry. No, no worries, it's fine. So, how long have you been here, Maya? Like two years. I was I was traveling around Europe with my ex, and then we just got to London. We decided to settle here. So. Wow, that's a that's a big step. Well, we were together since we were teenagers, so we're still friends. We're very close. He lives near here. Oh, he does. What, what was it? Uh, was it a recent breakup? Yeah, um, it was about a week ago. I'm joking. It was like a year ago. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's, that's quite soon after you got here though. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's different when you're traveling. It's just like fun and we got to London. It was like the real world, you know, it just was too much. It was too much for us. Yeah, yeah. And what, so, and have you been single since? Yes, I have. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm hoping to find my London boy on the app. Oh, so, so you're into London guys, yeah? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, I just feel like London people need to smile more, right? It's like you get on the bus or the train and like everyone just looks miserable. <laughs> Trust me, it's the weather. Don't even talk to me about the weather in this country. <laughs> talk about something else. It's like, no. Okay. There's quite a lot I've been, I've been wondering about you actually, just hearing you talk about certain things. Really? Just... I'm mystifying you, okay? <laughs> yes, yeah, somewhat. Ask me anything. What interested you about me? Oh, okay. So I'm really into astrology and all of that kind of stuff. And your star sign oh, wow. is actually compatible with mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and what, what are you again? What's I'm your... a Libra. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not actually a very good one. I mean, I, I am sociable and all of that kind of stuff. Sure. But I have a lot of imbalances in my life. But, you know, maybe I just need the right star sign to match with me and then... What about you? What interests you about me? Uh, a few reasons, actually. Uh, but if I had to pick one thing that stood out the most... I'm nervous. <laughs> I'd have to say your profile picture. You thought I was hot. Oh my God, you're such a typical guy. Ooh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know what it means. God, I knew you were going to... I... Ah, uh, gosh. I, I promise you now, I like everything else about your profile there were so many things I, but like i'm not a super superficial it's okay or, it, it wasn't it's okay i was kidding you can chill man <laughs> okay cool i just don't want you to think that i just clicked on you it's okay purely for that. it's okay okay cool okay um how's this online digital dating thing going for you have you enjoyed it it's okay i mean i love going out and meeting people but like it's it's a good it's a close second that's a that must be pretty weird i bet you're excited to just jump back out and 
get into the real world again. Yeah, kind of, but like I think it's actually been good for me to like weed out the bad ones. Sure. So when I do, it's like, you know. Nice, nice. I'm glad. Yeah. Boy, Maya, I finally scored some weed. Oh, really? I managed to find the only dealer working through lockdown. Come on, let's light up. Okay, I'm coming. Hope it's going well with Tom. <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom. Okay, I didn't realize that I was uh, Tom's closing act. No, hey. No, no, it's just it's cool. I get it. It's fine. Come on now. It's just could have got my name right. At least. Sorry. Maya, I'm smoking this entire bag if you don't come now. I'm coming. I'm coming. Sorry. You gotta go. I do. Um, no, it's fine. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello, Vinny. Oh, he hi. Hi, so I'm so sorry. You weren't waiting long, were you? No, not too long. You're drinking? Uh, yeah. Is that cool or...? Okay. No. Yeah, it's all good. I just, I just wasn't sure if it was a good look for me. Do you mind if I go and grab one? Oh, no, no. Please be my guest. I don't want to be the only one drinking, so... Okay. I'll probably embarrass myself. <laughs> Okay, we've got the same beer. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to coffee you. I'm just You sure? I'm sure. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, of course. Nice to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you as well. I'm going to get very drunk very quickly, I feel. I'm just going to put this down. <sighs> so, Vinny, am I at your first digital date in this new normal we're living through? Put me under the spotlight already. That's a tough question to open up with. Um it's hard. Just would think it would be like, yeah, no. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, yes, you are actually. I think you're lying. I'm not, no. I'm a lawyer. I can, I can suss these things. Okay, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got me. Great start. Yeah, by me. You, not so much, but it's early days. So, on your profile, it said your industry was other. I was just wondering what you do. Yeah, I'm in corporate law. Um, wow, okay. A little bit shocked that they didn't have a litigation option. I'll, I'll send them some feedback. Sure. I'm a little bit extra like that. So, um, I mean, I presume you've been busy during lockdown. Yeah, apparently the world never stops needing legal advice. Um, I've just been made partner at my firm, so it's a whole new step up trying to make relationships with the clients and video calls are just no way to do it. You're a partner already, that's, that's pretty amazing considering you're only 27. Yeah, it's not very polite to remind a woman of her age. I, I'm, so, uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it, it was nothing about your age, it was more I'm just only, about that you're... I'm only putting your leg. You are a little bit younger than what I would normally go for though. Really? Hmm. I guess, why did you go for me then? We share similar interests, it looks like. Um, when I get time off, I love live music, traveling, eating. Emphasis on eating. Yeah, big emphasis, big foodie here. And a big share of food. I'm one of those people that when they go to a restaurant, I just unashamedly order everything off the menu. Starters, mains, desserts, everything. And you're a big sharer as well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like that's part of eating. It's like a social thing. I really hope you're on the same page as me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm on exactly the same page, like I'm sold. I have no issue at all with scoffing my face at any time of the day. Okay, phew, that could have been really awkward. So what about your skills in the kitchen? Oh. I obviously can cook up a storm. Can you? But it's always nice when a guy knows his way around a stove. Okay. Okay, you gonna say something to reassure me here? I've got a few dishes up my sleeve that are a bit known to impress over the time, so... Such as? 
Okay, so I make some pasta dishes. Um, I can make a really mean roast. And I have pretty simple baking skills if you've got a sweet tooth. A solid repertoire. Yeah, so not, not too bad. I think I can hold my own in the kitchen enough. You passed just about. Oh. Just about. Just about. Yeah, yeah. I'd really like to know how come you're single. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to fall back on that old cliche that I haven't met the right person yet. What about you? No, listen, cliches are often true. Right, I'm a big defender of cliches. Anyway, stop avoiding the question. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the answer. What's your relationship history? Okay. You can be honest. Yeah, well, I, listen, I've been single for a while. Okay, if I'm honest, I haven't actually been in anything meaningful for a long time. Interesting. So, are you looking for something meaningful on here? What, what exactly are you looking for? Oh, that's a big question. That is a big question. It's a big question. It's an important question. No, I know. So you're always hoping that the other person is on the same page, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking to be in a relationship, yeah. I mean, these days I'm pretty set on that, and when I meet the right women, yeah, I'm just programmed that way, I guess. Okay, I'm the same. I just don't bother wasting my time on things I'm not serious about. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we... We're on the same page. Short. Yeah, 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 completely. Okay. So, Vinny, sorry, my schedule is just a little bit crazy at the moment and um, I kind of need to go soon. Oh. Is there anything else you fancy asking me? Oh, that's such a shame. Um, okay. You've got my full attention, though, for a few more minutes. So think wisely. Okay. Any burning questions? Maybe just tell me a bit more about your upbringing and how you got to be such a high achiever. Oh, don't flatter me. <laughs> um, there's nothing to tell, really. I was really lucky to go to a good school, girls' school. Nice. Got really good grades, did ballet, did lacrosse for my county. I still keep those up casually. That's pretty impressive, I have to admit. Thank you. Um, I just have the most amazing family. My parents are just so brilliant in their own ways. They're my idols, really, and they just have this amazingly strong love. Hey, listen, it sounds like they really got it down. They are amazing. Um, what about you? Are you, are you close with your family? Oh, uh, in simple terms? Yeah, simple's always best, I think. Just be honest. I really, really am. You are? I just have so much to thank them for just for i don't know making me the man that i am today and the man that i'm still becoming oh that's lovely yeah no 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 family is really really important to me yeah i agree can not agree more well i'm gonna go now sorry if i was a bit outspoken that's just me no it's, just, it's cool it's just i really know who i am and what i want and i just don't want to waste my time you know i understand it's it's better to you know, get that stuff out in the open. So, you know, being honest is always the best. Wouldn't be anything else. This felt really good. You're a good egg, Vinny. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself, Grace. Charming. Have a good evening. You too. I was just doing yoga and I like completely zoned out. Do you mind if I just tidy this up for one time? I'll be really quick. No, please, please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I have to, to wait. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Just gonna light some incense because there is some very sweaty energy in here. <laughs> All right. It's better. Nice. <clears throat> Okay, I'm with you. 
I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you been like keeping active or doing any exercise during lockdown at all? Like what, just walking or? <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any kind of exercise, just keeping active, keeping limber. No, 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 I've been keeping limbo, I have. Um, me and my mates have been taking turns to lead uh, hit sessions over video calls every day, so... Wow. Yes. You must be getting a lot stronger if you've been doing, like, hit every day. Uh, I guess so. I haven't really put it to the test, but... Drop and give me 20. You, you mean what, right now? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, come on, the floor is yours. Jeez, I'm, I'm kind of backed into a corner now, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I'll give it a go, I'll give it a go, why not? All right, let's do this. I'm watching. Okay, um, please don't judge if I get this wrong, okay? Go on, then. <laughs> okay. Yay. I'm heavy. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, one. That was one, yeah. I'm so sorry for you. I did not think I'd be doing this right now, my day. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, wow. Are you seriously laughing? Oh, no. That's me. I don't think I've ever made such a bad impression in my life. Not at all. I'm impressed. That you tried, even though you really couldn't do sure, it. At no, all. I couldn't. I did try. I did try. So. <laughs> you said you've been doing hit every day, so. Gosh, I feel like I haven't worked out in years. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, listen. Thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So, I haven't asked. What is it that you do for a living you know, when you're not breaking the ice? Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. I've actually been a vegan for about 10 years. Do you mind if I ask what you eat? No, no, not at all. It's, it's a very important detail right now, isn't it? <laughs> in pretty much every relationship in life. <laughs> you might not like it. You're a monster, you know that. Are you serious? I'm kidding. <laughs> <sighs> totally fine. I don't God. mind if you're a monster. <laughs> so you don't have a problem with meat eaters then, yeah? Nah, not really. I mean, so long as the people around me don't eat it in front of me, just out of respect, um, yeah, I'm alright with it. I don't think that's too much to ask, really, is it? Uh, that would be tough for me. Oh, really? Well, it just kind of means that I can't be myself, and I don't think that that's healthy, really. Well, it's a good thing we didn't start off with a dinner date. <laughs> um, I'm on this app to find like like-minded people, or or at least someone open-minded enough to sort of embrace my wavelength. Um, do you think you are? Why do you ask? Well, I just think it's a bit pointless to proceed if like you aren't. Um, We'll just be like clashing the whole time, and I'm not really down for that. I understand that, and listen, I'm sorry if it hasn't come across, but I am definitely open minded. Maybe less so with matters of my stomach, but I just say we see how it goes. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Where are your eyes wandering off to? <laughs> your, uh, your living room is... Confusing? Eccentric? <laughs> no, fascinating. What interests you most? Uh... Those photos over there. Oh, yeah. They're from when I went travelling. They're shot on film. Oh, that's cool. Eh. <laughs> so, the gorgeous girl is Sally. 
and the guy is Derek. Wicked. And how long were you? How long were you out there for? We were actually out there for quite a while. I think it was about six months or something. Jeez, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. And who's uh, who's Sally? Sally is actually an ex of mine. <laughs> I think we were dating at this point. That looks like it. Oh, you, you're bi. Yeah. Is that a problem? A problem? Yeah. Is that okay with you? I'm literally all for it. <laughs> Most guys are. Although some find it threatening. I don't know, maybe because girls are the fairer sex? <laughs> Nonsense. I'm definitely just more attracted to like the mind rather than any kind of like gender. Mm. I think they call it sapiosexual? I think it's something like that. That's pretty cool though that you're open-minded like that and it's just you're attracted to who you're attracted to. I think that's wicked. Yeah, totally. Anyway, I've spoken way too much, so it's your turn to tell me about you. Ah, uh, I'm really not great at talking about myself. Oh, uh, you know what we could do? There's this ultimate compatibility test that's only three questions. Do you want to do it? Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so question one is, do you like horror films? Ooh. I just have to give a simple yes or no answer, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very straightforward. Oh, then this is super, super easy. Um, I, I love them. Supernatural ones, uh, psychological oh. ones, thrillers, slashes, okay. creatures. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I really stop you there. What? I'm so sorry. I cannot stand them. No. Oh, that's such a shame. Because they're so good to watch with people. Yeah. I mean, what, is there a reason? Like, why don't you like them? I just, um... To be perfectly honest with you, I suffer from, like... I suffer from anxiety really bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I, I keep it under control of my lifestyle choices, but... I used to get panic attacks really badly, so I just try to avoid, like, all triggers like scary movies. <laughs> I totally understand. And they're just films, so it's not a big detail. So, uh, have you ever traveled to another country alone? Ooh, I think I have to think about that for a second. Um, yeah, I know, it's kind of hard to remember that kind of stuff. No. In that department, I think we are as boring as each other. <laughs> you as well? You haven't traveled? No. Well, listen, nothing beats a travel buddy, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how comes you haven't travelled alone yet? I don't know. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love my own company, but I just feel like in experiences like travelling, I just want to share my energy with someone. I get that completely. Yeah. Finally, could you pack up your life and live on a boat? Wow. Now that is a left field question. Just imagine yourself, yeah, completely alone. Completely isolated, mm -hmm. again. Floating along. Do you know what? I reckon I could. I think I'm a pretty low-key guy at the best of times, and I'm thinking about it now, and that sort of tranquility is probably a bit of me. But, okay, disclaimer, my sea legs aren't great, <laughs> but I guess that's just something you'll get used to. Yeah, no, same. I could do it in a heartbeat. I feel like lockdown has been great practice. No, 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 I'm there. I'm there with you. Okay, not bad. I mean, there's room for improvement. <laughs> no, I think we did okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... No, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. Like, halfway there. Just like... I mean, do you really trust all these personality tests? <laughs> Vinny, just because I'm a hipster, it doesn't mean that I base my life off obtuse thinking and <sighs> mysticism. Okay, no, no, you're right. However, I did notice that our star signs aren't super compatible. Yeah. Thank you so much for this evening, Vinny. I had a really lovely time getting to know you. You have a really beautiful energy. Thank you, Saffron. So do you. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a real pleasure talking to you.
Whoa, quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tentle hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So, there was Maya. Uh. And, man, she was a real live wire from Spain. From Spain? Ho, ho. Hey, you got to love the mamacitas. <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? Bro, stop stalling. Oh, man, it wasn't very good. Um, it just wasn't my finest hour, to be honest. It's okay, it's okay. Bro, that is cool, man. Look, listen, we all have days off, you know? It's all right. That's fine. So, Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high-achieving okay. and very intense, but I don't know, I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Listen, man, I, uh, I just messed it up. It, it wasn't pretty to watch, if I'm <sighs> honest. Ah, sounds tough, man. Hey. We go again, baby. We go again. Oh, so annoying. We go again, right? Come on. So, Saffron, yeah. Um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool hipster vibe. Okay. And... Do you know what? Ah, oh, no. Was it, was it terrible? It went really well, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. I am proud of you, mate, yeah? Vinny is proud. Oh, no, I said my name is Vinny. Shit. <laughs> I am proud of you, my guy. Listen, Callum is proud of Vinny. Vinny should feel vindicated. <laughs> you get anything else? Surname? Anything? So just a job, but I reckon I could find it. There can't be too many saffrons nearby. Okay. Hold on, I'm just going to have a look now. This is her, this is her, this is, yeah, this is her. Yeah? <laughs> this is her, yeah, no, 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 I'm not like. You get the lowdown on Grace? Uh, I think so, I think so. Nice. So, Saffron, yeah, um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool hipster vibe. Okay. And... Uh, do you know what, Callum? I don't know. I think that we were just on different pay. We we were on different planets, if I'm honest. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't working. I'd... It was tough. It was tough. It's okay, bro. Well, just remember, mate. You've now got to tell the uh, which two girls that you liked, so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know, to stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings. Bro, I don't know, I didn't make the app. Just just answer. I need to think on it. Um, but listen, thank you for your help, and I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, you're up. The bee's ready. No. Uh, it's a tap. Yeah. I'm nervous. What do you pick? Okay, so, so it says, never have I ever had a one night stand. <laughs> okay, it's my turn again. Let me choose you a good question. Okay, tell the computer to be nice, yeah? No. Uh <laughs> Never have I ever fancied a friend's partner. Uh, I have to think about that, actually. Yeah, think very carefully, I would, before, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is just not good. Do you know what? I can't say it's ever happened. Could it? What, could I fancy a friend's partner? Well... Definitely not. I, it would sort of be emotional betrayal, wouldn't it? My God, yeah, that's exactly what I think. Okay, good. All right, we're on the same page. I'm glad. Okay, my turn. 
All right. Next. Okay. okay. Let's see what I've got for you. Okay, I'm gonna go for. Never have I ever sent nudes. No, no. Strict no nudes policy. Uh, I just think in this day and age it's just way too risky and I've seen and heard so many stories of people getting their lives ruined and I just do not want to have that. Yeah. Yeah. No fair. That makes total sense. And to be fair, I've never sent one either. So. <laughs> I've never asked for one. Male nudes do absolutely nothing for me. Like... It's literally like looking down the barrel of a gun. It's not a good look. It's not good. Oh, but anyway. okay. You haven't even seen my pictures. For t <laughs> Sorry, hon. Anyway, so I think it's your go next. Okay, never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh. <laughs> wow, well, what are you going to say? I've never done that, honestly. Never. Okay, that's good. They're the three most important words in the human language, right? They're, they're pretty hefty. Aren't they? Big pause here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too important of a statement to make falsely. And it's just so not fair on the other person for you to just throw those words out there and then to not mean it. They're huge, they have gravity. Well, they definitely do. I'm glad you're agreeing with me on this one. I think we've done all right there. Should we call it a day? Yeah, it didn't really take off, did it? I think I'm more boring than I thought. No, you're not. Possibly. I'm definitely too sober anyway. Yeah, completely sober over here. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? Oh, it was really good. Thanks for remembering and asking. Yeah, it was so nice to see everyone. I forgot how much I missed the girls. And big question, did the birthday girl appreciate it? Yeah, she cried. Bless her. It set us all off. I just think there was a lot of alcohol involved and, you know, we were all feeling very emotional. But yeah, it was fun. Oh, listen, I'm glad to hear it. So, I've got a question. Go for it. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier and I way prefer it. Okay, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? Oh, that's hard to tell. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is it? To be honest, I'm pretty chill about the whole situation in that respect. Some of my friends are losing their mind over it. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, same. I think uh, I think people are obviously getting really thirsty, but, you know, I'd wait if, I, if it was for the right connection. That's good to hear. Not something you'd expect from a 20-something-year-old. So... Shh. Oh, my flatmate's just finished a date. I better go and debrief. Okay, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway. So. Very true. Well, listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for uh, playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. So, how are you feeling about Grace? OK, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I kind of, I just love that about her. Uh, hey, uh, hey, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, 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 it yeah. feels that way. It felt good. Uh, it feels good. It feels so good. Well, I don't doubt, I don't doubt she feels the same way, mate. You're a catch. You <laughs> gas me up, man. <laughs> no, it does made you soft. You are, Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh my God, we're talking about a date that you went on and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be sexy? <laughs> now you're propositioning me. <laughs> anyway, man, get some rest, you know, get some Zs. Thank you for the support as always. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I mean, like, what else is there to do? I mean, living vicariously through you is the most fun 
thing about lockdown. Come on, you love hearing about this. You I love all this gossip stuff that I talk to you about. I, I love it. This is good. This is what makes me live. It's great. <laughs> thank you. I right, listen. I'm gonna make a move because I'm knackered. But um, no, seriously, thank you because I appreciate it. Ah right, man, no problem, man. Right, love, cool. bro. I'll catch you later. Good night. Cool. It's the big dinner tonight, boy! What's on the menu, man? Have you guys coordinated? So, well, it was coordinated by Grace that we should both cook the same thing. Ah, initiative. Yeah, listen, that's her middle name, man. But she's um, she's got me cooking a spaghetti carbonara, but the, the proper Italian way. And when I say this thing is so complicated, so she better be impressed if I pull this off. Uh, mate, I've got something to tell you. Oh, uh, do you know what? We always suspected it, bro. I'm really... Seriously? What? What's, what's happened? Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Wow. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> I didn't realise it was your grace until I properly checked her profile, man. I mean, have you scheduled a date or anything? Of course not, bro. I, I just wanted to tell you, innit? I'm gonna unmatch her as soon as possible. It's fine if she's still chatting to other people, right? Because, I mean, it's still so early. I'd say so, man. And you must be top of the power as well. <laughs> so, obviously, like, date three is something. It's nothing, man. <sighs> Bruv, if this was in real life, an in-person date, you would be having to escalate things right now. Well, listen, obviously that's off the table because we're not in person, so how am I going to escalate there's, things? There's got to be a way to do it. Okay, listen, I'll play it by ear, see what her vibe is, and that's all I've got. <laughs> Unconventional. Good luck. Oh, listen, we'll chat later. Debrief, yeah? Uh, yeah, great. Give us a bell, but um, if you call later on, I might not answer. What do you mean? Why? What's going on? <laughs> Well, your boy has only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, hasn't he? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you serious? How? What? Who? When? Where? Tell me. Tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me, whoa, me. whoa, 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 bro. You know I like to keep it low with these sort of things, man. Asking too many questions and that. Come All on, right, man. okay, do you know what? I won't pry anymore. <laughs> I'll let you go and enjoy this day and then call me or something. We'll debrief properly at some point, yeah? All right, then cool, bro. I'll give you a bell soon, innit? Cool, man. All right, catch you later. Good luck. Peace. Smash it. Grace, wow, you look, uh, you, you look amazing. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands and I only wear them on special occasions, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it. I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh my God, if I do say so myself, that is divine. Right, let's see yours. Let's be having it. Okay, boom. That looks solid. Give it a taste. Okay, cool. Let's twirl it. I think that's what people do. They twirl it on their fork, yeah. Twirl it up, yeah. Put it down, yeah. It's solid. It's probably not like my standard, but it's edible. Okay, acceptable is what we'd call it then. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that word instead. Yeah, no, I can eat this. Nice. Oh. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post lockdown. Yeah. Some nice food, maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good movie, some ice mm. cream or dessert, something romantic. The full works. Out of me and you, who's cooking? Oh, I actually meant at a restaurant. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, but I prefer your suggestion. I guess either of us could cook, but um, what about after dinner? Oh, okay, so I've always loved an apple crumble after dinner. 
No, no. I don't think you're picking it up. Would you make a move? Oh, oh, you, oh, okay. Uh, that's a change of gears. Uh, you know me. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be pushy or anything, so probably not. That's very chivalrous of you, but um, but you could kiss me. Cool. Uh, good to know. And what if I didn't? I might kiss you. It's not ideally how it would go, but I'm not shy. Sure. Well, I wouldn't push away. Thank God for that. Do you have a rule of thumb of how far you'd go with someone the first time you were intimate? Uh, what do you mean by rule of thumb? Okay, which base generally do you go to the first time? You're familiar with the bases, right? First, second, third, fourth. Third, yeah, four bases, yeah? Okay, a little bit more fun beyond kissing wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I'd be up for that. Yeah, I guess it's, just, it's all about communication, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's a good level for me. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same page. We're on the same page. So, I have a question. If this goes somewhere, what are you, what are you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? No, I can't say I have. Okay, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. And they are? So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. Okay, then... Anxious, preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you never get it. Oh, okay, that sounds painful. Next. Dismissive avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to anyone. Okay, and the fourth is? Fearful avoidant. Dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. Okay, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? Yep. I'm definitely secure these days, okay. but careful. Some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. Okay, um, let me just think about those options. Um, think about it long and hard. I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now. And I feel like I'm very available overall. Okay, so theoretically, if I went on a hen do with my girls abroad, would you would you feel paranoid if I went MIA for periods? No, no, no. Like, I'd trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And radio silence is just unkind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people, but yeah. I agree. Um... So that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they like them. And their attachment styles? I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations make you wonder if you're good enough, right? So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, the whole lot. Did you ever feel like you had to oversell yourself? No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just, it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real life distractions to fall back on. I, I, I have to say, I'm glad, I am glad though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too. And I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating app. Um, we should probably exchange numbers. Oi, oi. Don't hog the duvet. No, I'm actually quite good at sharing. And forgive me if I fall asleep on the call. I'm quite tired. Well, that's all right. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you could be a snorer. No, I don't. How do, what do you mean I look like I could be a snorer? <laughs> you just got something about you. I... I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about it. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. What do you mean weird habits? I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed. I get in the duvet. I just sleep. Oh, and... that's a problem. I'm very... I move <laughs> a lot. 
I'm very, I mean, I starfish. Thank you.